Hi guys, welcome to Atomic Society. Now this game, how do you, would you describe this game? This is like kind of a cross between Tropico, Frostpunk, and a big pile of roadkill. This is not a pretty game. This is like the antithesis of Tropico. It's, um, it, it is about uh, political issues. It's kind of like more like Frostpunk from the society aspect, uh, passing laws, making difficult decisions. But this is heavy. This is, this is not a pretty game. This is ugly and brutal. Um, hangings, dealing with big issues, uh, abortion, gender politics, um, how do you deal with murderers, kind of stuff like that, capital punishment, all those kinds of big, big issues. Um, let's play and you'll see. So, um, the war destroyed everything. Law and order became a distant memory. You were fortunate enough to avoid the carnage in a government bunker. After many years, radiation levels dropped, making leaving possible. But the bunker leadership became fearful. What if it was still chaos up there? In the end, the majority voted it was too risky to leave. Then you volunteered to go, because you're an idiot. Hmm, shall I stay in this comfortable government bunker or shall I go up on the surface and probably get murdered by... Yeah, I don't even want to go there. Like, if you get if you get raped and murdered, like, you, you probably want it in the other, uh, in the other order. Um, so you volunteered to go. If just a few engineers would come with you, with the supplies they could carry, you would prove it was possible to re rebuild society. The majority laughed at you. <laughs> Quite right, but agreed. <laughs> they were glad to see the back of you, frankly. You've been annoying them. It's that hair. They just don't like the hair. Uh, they, they might come up to... Uh, if, you can, if you can build a, a large town with a stable, stable population, they might come up to... Yeah, if you go and do all the work, they might join you. And if you fail, well, frankly, who cares? Because of the hair. And uh, you and a few engineers prepare to leave the bunker for the first time, knowing the others will lock the hatch after you. Yeah, good riddance. Don't let the hatch hit you in the ass on the way out. The future of society is in your hands. We're going to play this on Modra. I'm going to turn off the tutorial because I've already played through the tutorial. Right, so, name. Um, yeah, no, actually, um, yeah, yeah, go on. I suppose, yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, I suppose. It's cool. I can't even spell my own friggin' name. Um, age will just take some, some random. I'm gonna close my eyes. Apparently, I'm 45. Uh, belief system. There's loads here, but, but just more, more Muslim, New Age, Orthodox, Pagan, Parsi, Protestant, Yaman, oh, Satanist. <laughs> Should we be Satanists? Shinto, Sikh, Spiritualist, Taoists, Unknown, Agnostic. Oh, they haven't got what I am. I'm an apathetic agnostic. Don't know, don't care. Um, ancestral beliefs, atheist, atomic cultist. Ooh, atomic cultist. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Uh, Buddhist, Catholic, Hindu, Jain, Jehovah's Witness. There's like loads. Uh, you know what? What? The, let's go with. Let's go with atomic cultist. <laughs> I'm going to be a cult leader. Um, go. Then you've got like nine different maps to choose from. And I've had a look at a couple of these and ooh, this like this one's really difficult because you just you just haven't got like it's difficult to get anywhere and it's ugh, yeah, difficult. I think we'll go I think we'll go with a, a post apocalyptic kind of feel. The dunes. This arid region has been blasted to sand by nuclear de detonations. A deep canyon divides the area in two. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, what about the forest? Nature has start, started to reclaim this region since the war. I might just go with the first one, Wasteland. Yeah, go on. We'll, we'll just go with a Wasteland. What the hell? Accept. Tip. What's built? Press I to quickly open your storehouse inventory. I'll try and remember that. So here are our people um, who wander around like a bunch of like mindless zombies, frankly. And... Can I? Yeah. So, yeah. They, they're, a, they're a sad, depressing, and depressed bunch. Uh, and, like, everything about this game is kind of designed to be, like, dark and brutal and ugly and just, like, kind of horrible, frankly. This is, um, yeah. This ain't Tropico, guys. It really, really isn't. So, how do we play this game? Well, uh, the... There is a leader, and there is a thing called leader mode, which um, which is down here. Now, this is this is game has got one thing in common with Tropico, and that is they've used the space bar for something other than pause, which drives me freaking crazy. But they haven't got retoggleable keys at the moment, but that is coming. So, 
um, the sooner the better. There are one or two. There are one or two things that I like. Kind of put me off this game. Like, like I hate the fact that the camera, and some games do this, that it revolves around this point rather than revolving around the central point. That that drives me crazy. But as much as the controls and everything are a bit of a nightmare, and the game's not, it sure as hell isn't a pretty game. That's for damn sure. It's the gameplay that kind of just draws you in. Let's get some stuff done. The first thing we need to do is designate a storehouse for us to put our stuff in. Now, what you want to do is pick some building like this, and then you can convert it into, into what we want. Now, we've got some kind of sort of interesting stuff around here. This is as far as I can zoom out. We've got, we've got some buildings that we can scavenge up here. I'm thinking maybe maybe down in that valley, but it's God, this place is it is staggeringly depressing, isn't it? What about over here? Ooh, that, that, you know what? This might make kind of sort of an interesting place over here. You know, um, so maybe maybe if we have this over here as our as our store. Yeah, you know what? I think I think we'll go with I think we'll go with this. This is kind of an interesting layout up here. God, this place is freaking brutal. All right, let's do it. So um, we're going to convert this structure into a storehouse. Uh, you can also ch change ruins into um, into houses or into a garrison. We're going to convert this into a, a storehouse. Cha Ching! And this is where our we, we get four builders at the beginning, the four engineers who came with us, and we're going to get them to work in here. Hooray. Right. So now we've gone into uh, into leader mode, and um, we can control our leader either using the WASD keys, um, or we can just like left click and point them at things. Um, society can be rebuilt. Of course it can. The survivors with you say word has already spread across the region. Others will come to see what you have to offer. Your upcoming town will prove civilization is still possible or not. Yeah, okay. Um, where the hell am I going? I can't even, can't even remember where I'm going. Um, you know what, just like go go over there. Go and help construct that structure. <laughs> right, so now we'll crank it up because he's got a long way to go. Now our people will follow us like a bunch of sheep, I guess. For want of a for want of a better analogy. Zombie sheep. But we um we apparently can like sprint across deserts at high speed. Which is what we're doing. So we're gonna race into this building and then we'll convert it to a storeroom. Now this uh, this leader mode, you can use your guy to go and like salvage other things, like pretty quickly actually. Which allows you to um, to build, but you don't have to. You can just use kind of like regular people to do it, which we'll be doing. So that's built. Name your town. Um, roadkill. <laughs> if I could spell it right. No, no. Roadkill. Roadkill city. There you go. Come to roadkill. Let's announce that to the world. Roadkill city has been founded. All right, so uh, let's go over here. Uh, there's metal batteries, miscellaneous stuff. What the hell is that? Let's, let's pause this while we have a bit of a look around because I've got it on time six speed. Oh, it's a car. Now we want to salvage, uh, like ideally, like a building or something. That's a that's a container. Lumber, metal, masonry. Those are the three things that we need. If we actually click on this, we can see the the building supplies. Now. Yeah, we want primarily building supplies, which is lumber, metal, and masonry, and that's got all three. So, let's go, let's go over there, and uh, we're going to salvage this in town leader mode. Go, whiz over there, grab a whole bunch of stuff, boom, and here we go, salvaging it all. Hooray! Right. While searching this room, we found a special item. While searching this room, you discovered a rare item that can boost your abilities. Mouse over to see what you've got. We've got a mid-sized backpack. Woohoo! Increases my inventory, so I can carry more. Good. Grab that. In that case, I should be able to salvage a bit more from this. Hooray! Yes, grabbed a bunch more. My inventory's full. Um, so yeah, I've got a medium backpack. Woohoo! First time out, pretty good. 
Uh, so let's now go over there and dump all of our resources into there. So get off you go. Now you can you can control this with the the plus and minus keys on the keypad, but um, so have we have we dumped all the stuff in there now? I should actually press I. Remember that tooltip? Tell me to press I. So we've got some uh, we've got some lumber, we've got some metal, we've got some masonry. So now we can think about actually like building some buildings. The first thing probably that we want to build. Oh, and I, I suppose I should show you a little bit around this stuff. So. Um, get out of there this is out this is the town's needs uh, so they need water they need um, uh, food medicine housing and this is kind of like general entertainment so those are the four things that they need let's um, you know what let's pull the news off onto a separate one so that you can kind of follow what's going on so uh, town leader is finally, finally finished salvaging Adam Russo has died from diarrhea now unfortunately you can't click on these to go to the things that have happened. So a bunch of people have died from diarrhea. Um, yeah, like mainly, mainly it's been salvaging and diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, told you it was, told you it was pretty depressing. There's a bunch of buildings that we can build. The uh, first thing, um, now like in the tutorial, like the first thing to build, it says pretty much is um, the scavenger hut so that you can start getting your people to work for you and scavenge stuff. So I think we'll have a couple of these. So let's have um, let's have one there. And then uh, we'll have another scavenger hut. Um, I'm almost tempted to have, to have three of these. Um, actually, before I build it, how much does it actually cost? That's a good point. Uh, let's see, scavenger hut costs um, two, two, and two. So if I got a bit more metal, I could have a third one. So let's have let's have another one going in there. I don't like the way it does the terrain deformations, but hey, this game is not about how pretty it is. Oh no! Right, so we'll go into leader mode again, and we'll go and help build this structure. Ship, 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 ship. I'm thinking to have the town kind of scattered along this kind of area. Um, so we've got the first one built. Shall I get the second one built? Yeah, let's get the second one built. So help construct this, which apparently I'm doing completely on my own because I've picked a location that's so far away from the starting location and all the people have got lost on the way. Where are you all? Damn it. Uh, let's go and just uh, employ workers. You just tick on that and it just employs people. And then we want this. Why can't I help construct that? Don't know. Maybe I have to exit the building or something. Oh, now I can go over there. There you go. Construct that. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. So this is going to allow um, us to uh, get people out scavenging, getting the stuff that I've been getting up until this point. Hooray. And the people have all shown up eventually. Well, like the few that are left. <laughs> I think quite a few of them have died on the way. Yeah, somebody caught the plague from a corpse, died from diarrhea, died from diarrhea. Uh, Robin Wallace has been spotted engaging in homosexual acts. New social issue has occurred, uh, which is probably homosexuality. Uh, there are all kinds of issues we're going to have to deal with, guys. Uh, yeah, dying from diarrhea. Died from diarrhea. Loads of people dying from diarrhea. Oh, good look. Uh, a vegetarian is refusing to eat meat and work at any livestock. That's another issue. How do we deal with vegetarians? Well, hanging, obviously. I've got lumber, military rations, metal. It's found a special item. What do we get? Oh, we found a large hiking backpack. Increases town leader's inventory to maximum. Sweet. Right, in that case, do a bit more salvaging. Hooray. You found a special item. Another one. What have we found now? You found a rusty toolkit containing several useful tools. Helps the town reader, leader repair structure fast. structures faster. Awesome. Freaking awesome. So now we should have some more stuff. I need to get some workers in here. So let's get, uh, let's get some workers in there bringing stuff in. Now hopefully if these guys can start bringing stuff in then we can we can focus on building rather than rather than on on scavenging although we are staggeringly good at salvaging. Do I do the builder's yard first? That's three three and three. Yeah I think we probably do. Let's get the builder's yard. Let's have... Um, no I want it round this way. Let's have the builder's yard. There. We're gonna try... you know what we're gonna try and be organized in our post-apocalyptic society. We'll help construct that because 
because we're awesome and we help out a lot. So let's get that built. The the good thing about doing stuff like this is that they they get very upset if they haven't got jobs. They're like they want something to do. They want to feel useful. Let's crank this all the way up and get this built. And then we'll go off and do some more salvage, I think. Could probably do a bit, a bit more of that. So that is done. Hooray. Let's get some people work in there. Boom. I want the top town hall in a kind of prominent position. Maybe up here, kind of. Yeah. So let's have the town hall going in. Oh, I want to see how much how much does it cost? Town hall. This is three, three, and three. But we're doing good on the on the stuff now, so um, this needs to be well, rotated that way because that is very obviously the front. And I think, yeah, we want this kind of up up on a in a prominent place. But I was going to put the well in front of the town hall so that everybody has to come in front of the town hall to get a drink, so that we can keep a keep an eye on them. They're going to be doing some very nasty things. I will warn you, they they do get up to a lot of mischief in this game. And my God, I mean the music, everything doesn't it? It's it kind of gets you down actually. Now the people who work here, these are your enforcers. These are your uh, these are your if you need more enforcers to arrest people, build an enforcer outpost instead. So, boom, maha. <laughs> now this means that we can now enact laws. And if we have a look, these are the issues that we've got. So, for example, murder. We've caught citizens killing men, women, and children. The killers claim it was in self-defence or for the good of the town, but we'll never know. The question is, what do we do about it? So, if I click on this. Oh, I can't, do, I can't do anything. That's locked. Can't do anything about that yet. Apparently nobody's murdered anybody, which I'm staggered by. Slavery, euthanasia. Uh, vegetarians. What do we do about you vegetarians? Well, execution, obviously. Um, no, <laughs> I mean, no, we're not going to execute vegetarians. I mean, I kind of want to, but um, just, a, just a long prison stay is perfectly adequate. No, no, no. Whatever, like, whatever solution you, you choose... You need to have uh, an associated building. This needs an info station, for example. Uh, if we wanted to execute them, then we'd need a punishment centre. So, so that's that. That's the town hall. But we've got our enforcers going now. Right now, let's set about actually building a town. So, what do I want? I want um, I want water. That's kind of the first thing. So, the water well. Let's have it round that way. Let's put it there. Cool. Right, so that'll give us water. Uh, we also want uh, some food. So we've got two options. We've got the greenhouse. Attempt to cultivate fresh fruit and vegetables undercover, safe from the harsh elements. The greenhouse doesn't produce a lot of food, but it's better than starvation. And the livestock ranch. Rearing livestock for the slaughter provides a lot of satisfying meals for your citizens. Most hardworking survivors prefer eating meat to vegetables, given a choice. That produces 40 butchered meat per cycle, time to produce 60 days. Greenhouse, 12 fruit and vegetables per cycle, time to produce 20 days. So I guess we want both of this going on. The question is, where are we going to have kind of our farming kind of area? Yeah. So let's have a couple of these. Greenhouse, greenhouse. Uh, I'm going to flip you around that way. I'll have them kind of, kind of, sort of lined up-ish. Boom. And now this game, but I should point out this game is in this is going into early access uh, tomorrow, which is Monday, the uh, fifteenth. Uh, they've been working on this game for about three years, and they've got at least another year of full-blown development to do on this game. So, um, so you're still seeing it in a, in a relatively basic form. So I'm assuming a lot of this is going to get like improved as time goes on. So we'll have a couple of those, and then we want to arrive livestock ranch which i'm thinking to have kind of in front of the so we'll have a, like a row of greenhouses and then we'll have livestock kind of on this side uh so over here at the well we want some people working in the well drawing the water cool excellent and then once we get these we'll get some people bringing that stuff in but there's a ton more that we've got to do we need things like latrines a repair shop um oh, freaking tons of stuff there's like there's quite a lot of buildings to build all, sta all storehouses are full. Build or convert one. Okay, so we need another storehouse. Well, I tell you what we could do. 
Oh, a messenger arrives. While you are hard at work, a small group of strangers enters the town. You've seen many unusual people since leaving, uh, leaving the bunker, but this group stands out. <laughs> With that hat on? Yeah, yeah. Jazz hands. It's a dance troupe. No, not really. Uh, the other citizens seem nervous of them and keep their distance. Oh, I wonder if they're cannibals. It appears the strangers are... Oh, they're slaves. As they're... Oh, my God. As, I told you. I did warn you guys. As their eyelids have been removed and their wrists are shackled together. I wonder which was the biggest clue. Yet they appear confident, even arrogant. They claim to be the voice of the true ruler and tell you, this is not your land. The true ruler of the area has one law. All settlements that seek to grow above 200 souls or last a full three years will be considered a threat. They must submit. This is all they will tell you. You try to invite them in, but they simply walk back into the wasteland and fade away. Your people are alarmed. Yeah, I'm fairly alarmed. There have been rumors of a tyrant out there far away. Perhaps you will meet this person one day. <laughs> I'm thinking that's probably going to happen. Okay, continue. Okay, I'm mildly disconcerted by that. Just kind of tucked into here a little bit. There we go. So, help build that. Because you can't really do too much until you've built that. Because you can't put your stuff down. And you've got loads of stuff to deposit, which is going to allow us to build a whole bunch of stuff, which would be very useful. Look at all these poor people wandering around. <laughs> poor souls. Poor souls. We've got 52 people. And boom. Right, so now I want you to deposit your stuff in there. Cool. So now we've got loads of stuff. Awesome. Let's get some people working in here. Cool. Let's get some people working at the, the cow ranch. The livestock ranch. There's, there's probably more than cows. There's probably... There, there are some... Oh, my God. <laughs> Radiated mutant cows, apparently. Uh, anything else? Is it just cows? It looks like it's just cows. I was expecting a few chickens and stuff running around, but no, apparently it's just mutant... <laughs> irradiated cows. Um, yeah, kind of slightly scary. We're down, to, we're down to 48 people. People are dying like flies. I think we need some medicine. I think some medicine might be a good thing. How about a first aid tent? Let's have a first aid tent. Where's this going to be? I think this should probably be one of the kind of important town buildings. So maybe maybe we have this up by the town hall. Make people feel like we're we're nice in some in some kind of not adequately defined way. So let's let's get that. So that will. That'll help with the with some of the medical problems. Diarrhea. Now, to get, to get rid of the diarrhea, we need to build latrines because that's what's causing the the diarrhea. We put the latrines kind of just like over here. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, we'll um we'll definitely go and help with that because we need to stop the diarrhea. There's too many people dying. Uh, let's have um, let's zoom in and actually have a look at the latrines. So, what's the story here? Um, so it's basically, uh, yeah, it's basically a bunch of crates stood on end. And can we see inside? God, I don't think, I don't know whether there's even a bucket inside. There's a trough. Yeah, it's, well, there's a bucket in that one. Yeah, it's not attractive. Anybody fancy a post-apocalyptic future now? Not so much. Um, I got the people working in there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, now, if you want to have a look at the goals, um, these are fairly long-term goals for us. Have a population of 350 survivors. Town hope rating above 30%. Town fully protected against raiders. All, fa all five town need bars above 50% and en enact at least six laws. That's what you need to complete a settlement. Uh, yeah, long freaking way away. Let's get a repair shack going. Where would we want a repair shack? I think the repair shack probably needs to go down here by the builders. Water seems water seems to be kind of leveled off. Food seems to be leveled off as well. Let's get some people working in the repair shack. Cool. Right, now what? So we've got those. Uh, Enforcer Outpost Info Station Prison and Punishment Centre. Now let's see, have we had any like major issues? 
come up. Oh, yeah. Junho, Justin Leifer, has just devoured the fresh corpse of Stefan Gonzalez Morel. Seven citizens were distressed by this. I was one of them and need, t and need take time off work to recover. Jesus. Yeah, so cannibalism is an issue. I mean, obviously, it's not as bad as vegetarianism, but hey, it's still got to be dealt with. Um, oh, and we've had a murder. Oh, good Lord. Okay, uh, we're going to need to deal with some of this. So, we're going to have a punishment centre. Actually, before we build that, let's get some other stuff for the builders to build. Should we do that? Let's see, we've got Luxury Tower, the ultimate solution to any settlement's homeless problem. The Luxury Tower provides the best in comfort and a high number of rooms for citizens to live in. But building upwards is slow and extremely expensive. Jeez, 16 of each. 16 masonry, 16 metal, 16 lumber. Uh, no. Tenement. The tenement is a step towards proper housing for your survivors. It offers a little more privacy and comfort than a shack, giving people a better night's rest. So this stores 100 rest per stay. This stores 70. That's capacity 40 people. This is 15 people. So let's see, how many people we got? We got 54. So we'd need like four tenements if we were going to build those. Um, that only costs two of each to build. A basic shack only costs one. Oh, that's also 15 people. 40 rest per stay. I think we'll go... I'm going to build a basic shack just so that we see what it looks like. Um, but I think we want primarily some tenements right now. So, ooh, ooh, it's a fair old size, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be. I wasn't expecting it to be that big, but I suppose it's 15, 15 families. I, I'm guessing that's the front. One and two. And move over here a little bit. And come on, three. Boom. So that gives our gives that gives our builders something to build, and we'll build a shack as well. Um, basic shack, just because I want to see it. Oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, we could we could have a basic shack as well somewhere. Maybe maybe uh, maybe just kind of there-ish. Yeah, go on, we'll have a basic shack as well. Sweet. We oh, need a Jew collector. Dew with a D. It's not some kind of anti-Semitic thing. It's not. Uh, a Dew collector. Time to produce twelve days. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we want one of those. Maybe, yeah, let's have this out, like, over here. Oh, I want one of those. Yeah. That's going in. That's going in for freaking certain. Now, while they're building some of this stuff... Oh, and we've finished doing that. Hooray! There was much rejoicing. Um, we need to go and salvage some stuff. So what do we need first? Let's pause for a second. Let's have a look. What do we need? We need... Um, we need lumber, is what we need. So that truck is probably a good source of lumber. I don't, why a truck is a good source of lumber? I don't know. Maybe it's lined with planks or something. But but that's where we're going. Go salvage that. Yeah, we're getting loads of lumber, which is exactly what we want. And we're getting some other stuff. Vehicle, battery, medicine. Getting some metal, which is good. Right, this exclamation mark, uh, exclamation thing uh, means that you can, you can enact laws. We need some workers there. Let's get a couple of workers. <laughs> the hangman and his assistant. Any other buildings that I need to get people working in? No, those are all done. Right, so let's um, let's start setting some laws, shall we? I think we should. So vegetarians, no. Transge uh, so, so transgender is an issue. A minority around here don't, identi don't identify with their birth gender and their morale is fading. We've caught them using medical workers' time and supplies to change it. What should we do with them? See, that's an issue. But right now, we're going to deal with murder. So, what are we going to do with murderers? Answer, we're going to execute them. Why? Because it's fun. I know it's horrible. I know I'm horrible. I'm a bad person. But it's just fun seeing people hung in a game. Right? Not in real life. In a game. Judge. Um, yes, we've got the punishment centre. We've got the people at work. Execute. Boom. Murder resolved. Execution enacted. <laughs> so, the imposing sight of the town hall has discouraged the citizen from enacting a social issue. So, 
it stopped. We've just stopped somebody from murdering. Hooray. We've got 64 people. My God, the town's growing. Even though there are people's rotting, decomposing corpses lying around the place. Let's have a look at you. Uh, let's pause while we can... Can I click on you? Um, the corpse of Faith Reed. Infectious. Age 55. Course of death. Diarrhea. Last employer. The water well. Oh, well, that makes me feel good. Anybody fancy a drink? Ugh. We need a crematorium so that we can burn the bodies. That would be a freaking good thing. Uh, crematorium. Where do we want the crematorium? We kind of want the crematorium somewhere, kind of. Like a bit, kind of, maybe out of the way. I don't, I, I kind of don't want really, to, it's associated with the town hall. But, but it's got to be somewhere, hasn't it? Um, where else, where else could it be put? I don't know, maybe, maybe it's over by the latrines. The smell of burning bodies is probably perfume compared to uh, that, that those latrines. So maybe maybe just plonk that down there. there. Yeah, let's get that going. So this, the dew collector. Let's get a couple of people working in there. Cool. What am I doing at the moment? Whatever it is, it's not good enough. Um, go and salvage. That's lumber, metal, mason. That's everything. So just go salvage that. Go salvage that. While you're salvaging that, I'm going to look and see what else we could get going. Um, somebody died of old age without anybody caring for them, so that means we need the elder's place. Um, somebody's just devoured the fresh corpse of Lacey Kerrigan. Okay, we need to we need to sort out... Let's pause. We need to sort out the cannibals, because it's getting out of hand. Cannibalism. Some people have developed a taste for human flesh. Um, it's revolting. Uh, why can't I... Your town has incurred this, awaiting your judgment. Oh, I've got six minutes before I can enact another law. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's reasonable. We're getting the houses built. It's all right. Um, everybody needs a home to come back to and sleep at the end of a hard day. You've built enough places to rest for 45 citizens. Oh, maybe it's people who didn't have a home then. That's what I'm thinking. So... So yeah, if, when we get that built, we should be catering to everybody, which would be kind of a good thing. So I tell you what, let's um, let's go help build that. Yeah, go help build that. That would be a good thing for us to do. Go, go, go. All storehouses are full. So we'll, you know what, we'll build that. Bingo. And then we'll build a, we'll build somewhere for the old people, shall we? Yeah, let's build somewhere for the old people. So that's in uh, Elders End. Ooh, where do we want Elder's End to be? I don't know, maybe maybe kind of over here somewhere. There we go, get it all done, boom. And let's get some people working there. God, you need a lot of people working there. Now you can close, you don't have to have everybody working there. You can close slots. But, like, what the hell? John Clark died because one of their five basic needs was too low. Well, we've now got housing for... Everyone, haven't we? Oh no, 94% of the total population. So, need more housing. Need more housing. Uh, what do I want? I want houses. So let's get let's get another tenement going. Let's have one over here because then it kind of balances up the town. Uh, we'll try and stay away from the punishment centre. I think maybe. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably probably a good idea. You know, in fact, I might bring it out because there's a, there's probably a couple of buildings that I want in there. So let's. Um, now let's have you, let's have you over there, right, so uh, what are the other buildings that we can go, well let's do a bit of, let's do a bit of mood boosting, shall we, so we can have a, a decorative shrub, I'm sure there's going to be lots more of this, but we can have a decorative shrub, small, a small ornamental shrub enclosed by old car tyres, <laughs> oh I want to, oh let's have a look, let's have a look at all of these, Oh yeah, we want oh we want stuff like this decorating the place. So like how close can you put them together is gonna be the issue. So I tell you what, let's put let's just center it. So I'll go down the shift key, so I want how close can I put the next one? Oh my god, like not not very close is the answer. So apparently you're not meant to have probably loads and loads of these. What how much do they cost? I didn't even look. Didn't even look what it costs. Uh, what does it cost? 
So, a decorative shrub, 111. They're all 111. Or burning torch. Ooh. Maybe burning torch. I was going to say next to the. What's it? But. Uh, yeah. Just to, just to brighten them up while they're hanging. Has anybody been hung recently? No. So we'll we'll do that. We'll do we'll do a bit more, a bit more mood boost. Um, a rusty statue. Oh, look at that. That's got to be in the town square, hasn't it? It's got to be in the town square. It's got to be like that's got to be the centre of the town square. So it's got to be kind of in here. Boom! In you go. And what's the other one? The other one is artwork. <laughs> okay. The hell is that supposed to be? Mutant duck. No, no, no. It's a mutant. Oh, it's. Oh, it's death riding a nuclear bomb. Oh, that's that's freaking dark. Um. Well, yeah. Those can be. Those can be the the center of the town square. In you go. So let's have a bit of a let's have a bit of a build of that. Since I'm not. I'm kind of standing around not doing anything at the moment. What was this? This was, was this the elder? That was the elder's end. What was this? Uh, oh, that's another tenement. Yeah, build the other tenement because we've still got a couple of people who haven't got houses. So we're at 62 people. Somebody else has just died, I think. Yeah, Omar Morris. Oh, Omar Morris caught the plague from a corpse. Oh, because I still haven't built the crematorium, have I? Uh, where, the, where the hell did I put the crematorium? I put the crematorium down here, didn't I? Oh, I just haven't got anybody working there. There you go. So, now, with a bit of luck, they'll start cremating the bodies, and we won't have this issue. So we won't have people catching the plague. Which would be... Look at all the freaking dead bodies all over the place. Yeah, the game was not kidding about lots of people will die. That's for damn sure. So we're getting this built. Should we crank it up? Build that. I want to see some of these things when they're, when they're built. So go. If we have the burning torch, I want to see if it has actually actually has a torch. Go, go do that. So we should now have accommodation for everyone. Yes, hundred percent. So everybody's got accommodation. We've got water. Yeah, we're look. We're at the at the limit there now. We've we've got food and we've got more food than we need apparently. We've got uh, we've got medical care. We've got housing. So it's just entertainment, which we are building right now. Oh, 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 look. A citizen a citizen made it to old age and died peacefully uh, in your Elder's End building. And I didn't read the last bit. So, yeah, there is a there is a kind of a sort of a flame. Oh, yeah, no, it's a bit, yeah, kind of, sort of, ish. <laughs> like I said, this game, you don't play this game for, for, the, for the graphics. You're playing this game for... The gameplay but like right now I'm kind of I don't know whether this game is like genius or what the hell did I just die no apparently I just fell down why am I lying on the floor oh no oh, it was somebody who looked like me it's a doppelganger did I kill him I don't know go go help build that god that looks so much like me right oh and that one got built sweet our builders are on the on the ball. So, well, we've got a little bit of a town going on. There's um, there's more buildings that we could build. Oh, theatre, chapel, tavern. Oh, we need a tavern. People have got to be able to get a blub and drink, especially after somebody's been hung and laugh about it. So let's have... Um, we have a tavern here. Oh, I'm going to have a tavern down here. I might have a tavern down here, actually. Let's have a tavern. Where can I put it? Like there. Boom. Uh, so that's going to be the tavern. And let's, see, let's have a look at the inventory. How am I doing for stuff? Yeah, I'm doing all right for stuff. I could do with a bit of masonry. Well, I could do with lumber and masonry. So, um, hospital. We can actually like go for a full-on hospital now. Or uh, can workers at the chemist take herbs and plants grown at greenhouses and convert them into homemade medicine. Cool. I'm thinking we need more food though. What do you think? I mean, we seem to be okay at the moment. Uh, we've been working, so we're 24 weeks. So we should have had uh, like a crop from this. 
Oh no, we're at sixty four percent. Is that I, I'm assuming? Yeah, I'm assuming when we get to a hundred percent, then we get the stuff. But but we'll certainly have had crops from these. Is there info? Yeah, let's look at the info. Uh, it doesn't kind of give us any stats on what we've produced and whatever. That's obviously just produced. There's nothing you can click on. And uh, this one, this one's getting there. Um, what else? What else can we look at? There's got to be there's got to be more stats and stuff. That's the tutorial. There is a stats something. Oh, here we go. Open town hall stats. Now here we go. This is what no, I should have shown you this. This is important. This is really important, actually. I should show you this like, as soon as I built the town hall. This shows you the uh, the current status of the citizens. So we've got we've got one engineer left. Three of them have died. We've got five citizen builders. We've had 102 people die prematurely. But look at this. We're growing. We're up to 74, 75 people now. They do need more entertainment. So I should probably help them build the, the tavern because that would probably be a very good thing to cheer people up. Uh, go build that. There you go. Do, do something useful. Don't stand about like a layabout. Oh, go and, go and build that. All oh, right, and it's taken me out of leader, my good. Um, so while he's doing that, we, I was looking at the, the town hall stats, wasn't I? Yeah, 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 that's what I was looking at. So um, yeah, died peacefully too. So people have actually, we've actually reached the point where people can die peacefully. Uh, Doreen pickup died because one of their five basic needs was too low. Um, I don't know what that would be because, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Murders in the last month, one. Active slavers, currently zero. Suicidal, seven. Drug users, four. Women considering abortion, six. So we've got a bunch of issues to deal with. We can, uh, we can enact another one. Uh, what are we going to deal with? Uh, I was going to deal with cannibalism, wasn't I? But is there something more, more pressing? Slavery, no. So vegetarians, transgender, cannibalism, homosexuality. I think cannibalism is probably the most pressing, wouldn't you say? So we need, oh, well, we've got the punishment center for that. Cannibalism. I, I don't think we can tolerate it, but at the same time, I don't think execution is necessarily the right thing. So I think we want a prison. And the info station is another thing that I need to build. The, the info station, I kind of wanted over here. Next to next to this, because this is where they'd announce. We're hanging somebody, everybody. Quick, quick, get here. If you want to see, we're hanging someone. Get your tickets, get your popcorn. So let's pop that in, I don't know, like there. Cool. And then, so that's the info centre, and then we want a prison. And I'm thinking the prison should be behind where they hang people. Yeah, ominously, so they can look out the window and see down to the gallows below. Yeah, go on, we'll do that. Cool. Kill, 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 kill. Let's get some people working in the bar. Sweet. So now people can should be able to get um, some happiness. They've got everything else. It's the happiness that they haven't had up until now. This, you, you, this ruin has run out of useful salvage. You could convert this structure to something else. What can we convert it to? Uh, into a home, similar quality to a tenement, uh, a storehouse. Or into a garrison. Similar protection to a guard tower. Well, that's a good point. Oh, and we can do uh, we can do that. So so cannibalism. I haven't built the prison yet, have I? I'm think I'm thinking like a short a short prison term for cannibalism. It's not like they killed them and ate them. If they killed them and then ate them, then they'd be done for murder and they'd be hung. Right? Which I think is fair. So maybe um, maybe we should go and help. And speed it up. Go and, get, go and get the prison built, and then we'll lock up the cannibals. We're not going to tolerate that kind of behaviour. I, I think that's a step too far, cannibalism. And there we go. Now, now whether they're going to do things like introducing like terrain tools and stuff like that, I've no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I'd be very interested to see a development roadmap for this game, because it is freaking interesting. It is interesting. And I want to see, I want to go deeper into the game and see, like, how does this stuff actually, like, affect you going forward? So, okay. So, I think, short prison or long prison? All they did was eat somebody. It, they didn't kill them. I mean, to be honest, you could almost say, well, they're, they're performing a public service. They're getting the corpses off the street. So, I think a short, just a short, just a short prison term. Just a short prison term. It's not that bad. 
There we go. So we dealt with that. An elderly, uh, an elderly survivor passed away peacefully in Elder's End. Oh, nice. Um, we've got a new social issue. We're still getting plague from corpses. Where's the, where's the crematorium? Maybe, maybe we're just, maybe we're just dying too fast. The crematorium can't keep up. The smoke is coming out of there like pretty constantly. Let's have a look. Use the buttons below to control how many workers you want in the building. Yeah, that's not what I want. Uh, uh, working in pairs, they pick up the corpses, carry them to be burned. Burning dead bodies helps keep your town plague free. And I think, did you just pick up a? I said you work in pairs, but it looked like you just picked up a body. Um, oh yeah, returning with a body. Yeah, I was right. I'm not blind. Hooray! Belief, Satanist. Excellent. Now we can actually, we can, like, there is other stuff that we can do. We can convert people to our beliefs and stuff like that. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do in this game. Um, but I've been trying to, like, show you as much as I possibly can in, like, a first look. Uh, Theatre, cha chapel. We could, we could, we could definitely get a freaking chapel going. Um, where, where should the chapel be? Uh, maybe next to the old folks. Old folks like a good chapel. Uh, the door's that end, so let's put it, let's put the chapel maybe a little bit further forward, maybe there. So we'll have a bit of a chapel going on there. Anything else? Anything else to build? Um, Enforcer Outpost. I haven't done any of the militaristic stuff, but we could throw in, I don't know, what does the theatre look like? Let's have a look at the theatre. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically just a little stage and some cow sheds for people to sit in. Should we, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, people would find that entertaining, wouldn't they? In a, in a post-apocalyptic setting, you can see people going for a bit of that. So, where would that be? I think that might be more, a more important building. I think, I think they should probably go up here. Mind you, the performances might be spoiled by the screaming from the medical tent as they're sawing people's legs off and stuff. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe down, maybe down here. In fact, maybe, maybe, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Maybe we want um, this to kind of finish off the town square kind of thing. So, I wonder if it would it fit. Yeah, it'll fit there. That's where it's going then. Boom. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, you know what? We'll finish off by just maybe getting these last couple of buildings built. So, so there you go. I mean, that is um, Atomic Society. Uh, a quick first look without going like too deep into it. I would very much like to go further in the game. Um, if you would like to see more, let me know. We are coming up on, let's see, where, where, where are we coming up on? Um, we're coming up on, well, so we're on week 28. So we're not even halfway through the first year, but we are up to 100 people. Now remember, when we get to 200, we're going to have issues with the uh, with the local the local despot, who's going to come and like kill us and skin us and eat us and stuff. So we would need to uh, we'd need to start gearing up militarily at, at this point. Can I put in a guard post? Go on. The last thing I'll do, I'll put in where's a, where's a guard tower? Let's have a guard tower. Where would we, we? I suppose we'd want one probably in the middle of town, wouldn't we? Or close to. Yeah, maybe down this end of the town. Yeah, that's that's where we're going to start. Let's get that built. Let's get some people working there so that we've at least got some kind of protection. But it looks like we're getting regular groups of people joining us. Jamie Hines passed away peacefully. Somebody caught the plague. Some people getting diarrhoea. Maybe we need like more latrines and stuff like that. I'm thinking that's what we need. We've got vegetarians causing problems, like they do. Like they do, like they always do. Somebody dying from diarrhea. Yeah, I am thinking maybe, I don't know, we need more latrines or something. Maybe we should have some latrines out the back here. Um, certainly something that I would do if I was um, if I was continuing with this. Let's pause, let's get some people in the chapel. Boom. Let's get some people in the guard tower. Boom. Any of the buildings that we need people working in. Now we've got that, uh, we've got all of this done. So I think, you know what, I think that's that's kind of not too bad. So that, that gives you the coverage of this. 
So yeah, we would need we'd need another guard tower out here to cover these. We probably need one out here. We um, we probably need to start producing more food. We need more buildings like latrines and stuff. Well, there you go. That's a first look. If you would like me to play, like to do another episode, I actually wouldn't mind. I actually wouldn't mind doing another episode. Read useful tips. I'm just wondering if there's anything like, like that I haven't shown you. Uh, oh, we need weapons, so I need to get a weaponsmith going. And then, what's the combat like? What's the combat like? What are the what are the next set of challenges that you face in the game? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, if you want to see more, then leave me a comment, and I will seriously think about it. Um, it's not something I would do a series on right now, but one more episode, I might. I might. So be persuasive. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. This is really interesting. Like I said, it's not pretty. It's ugly. It's brutal. But yeah, this, there is something here. I'll catch you for the next one of whatever that is. Peace out.